Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Dreamweaver CS4's templates to easily put up web pages without too much of a hassle. So when you first launch Dreamweaver, you're going to have this welcome screen here. If you don't have it, just go into Edit, Preferences, and Show Welcome Screen. Just check this off. You may have to restart Dreamweaver to see it. So once you've got that going, what you want to do is you want to go under Create New, go to More, and you're going to see all kinds of stuff here. This is pretty complex. So you're going to go blank page, select HTML. You see we've got all kinds of options here. And all these different options, you know, we got all these, you know, when you see little springs, it's a, a flexible layout. And you can sort of, the title can actually give you some information about the page. Two column, elastic, one column, two column. Elastic meaning this is flexible with type sizes. I won't go to all these details here, but let's take a couple of samples so that we can get an idea. So I'm going to choose two column liquid left sidebar header and footer. Here we go. So we go over, we have a thumbnail view of it. Before we create this page, what I want to do is look at two things, doc type and layout CSS. Doc type has to do with the document type that is used for this particular page. So what exactly is a doc type? The doc type essentially is just instructions to the web browser, web browser being Internet Explorer, Firefox, etc. Instructions in terms of how to interpret, how to read the code. And I don't want to go into too many nerd details about this, but let me just say that how the browser reads the code will affect the subtleties of the way it displays the page. And if you don't choose the right doc type, it can cause some headaches down the road. Dreamweaver CS4 was created at a time when XHTML was all the rage. This is 2008, 2009. And of course, that was wrong. And the way it should be is actually HTML4 strict. So it's uh, no big deal. It doesn't take anything away from Dreamweaver. You just got to select HTML. 4.01 strict. This is what you want to use in 2010 and moving forward. Layout CSS. Now, all these layouts here, of course, are created with CSS code. So this basically is asking you where do you want to stick all that CSS code. You can create a new file, insert it into an existing file, or just add it to the head of your HTML page. The head part is the part of a page that is... Uh, you can't see when you're browsing the web page. I'll show you what that is in a second. For the sake of this video, I'm going to add it to the head, whereas in real life, you, you want to create a new file probably. So I'm just going to add it to the head. I'm going to hit Create. So here's the page. Now this is all the code. We're in code view here. So I'm going to view in design view. So here's the page in all its glory. Not very beautiful, but what we have here is a common structure. So we don't have to figure this out because trust me, Trying to figure this out in uh, from scratch with CSS can be a pain in the butt. So we're going to go File, gonna Save As. I'm just going to call it Liquid. Liquid page .html. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this in a web browser so we can see what the Liquid page actually does for us. So I'm going to hit F12. And here we go. So you see this? Now, as I, you see, as I expand and contract the browser, the divisions here, the sections, contract and expand with it, right? Gets very small, gets very large. That's what a liquid layout will do for you. So let's look at another type of layout. And uh, let's go to More. And again, blank page, HTML. I want to go with two column fixed. Here we go, two column fixed. You see a little lock fixed. Uh, right sidebar, header footer. Eh, it's, you know, let's, go, let's go left sidebar actually. So here we go. Two column fixed, left sidebar, this is sidebar, header, footer. All right, so uh, doc type, again, 4.01 strict. There's uh, several others, but you just want to use strict. And layout will add the head, and we go create file. And here it is again. So I'm just going to save this file, save as. I'm going to call it uh, fixed uh, dash page. There we go. So I'm going to save. Now I'm going to preview this in the browser. Now watch this. See how I expand and contract? It doesn't, this doesn't shrink. 
This is a classic fixed layout. I prefer fixed layout. A lot of people prefer, prefer fixed layout simply because it's easier to manage. Like if you go to uh, killersites.com, we actually use a two column fixed layout, right? You see column one, column one, column two. And we scroll down, we've got our footer. Now this is all styled up to look good, but that's basically what it is. It's a two column layout and it's a fixed layout so that we got a consistent size and shape to everything that we do. It's, it's pretty cool, I like it. So now that we've used an HTML template loaded, we have, well, we have it loaded up, we can change it. We go, um, you know, I don't know, um, pet food, and you can start adding your own text. You can start inserting images. You can do all you want. It's pretty cool. But I'm going to show you something interesting. I'm going to hit, hit delete on the footer, save that. I'm going to show you another template feature that are called snippets in Dreamweaver. So if you go to Classic View or Designer View, well, Designer View will be a little bit more difficult. But if you go to Designer View, let's go to Classic View. And in Classic View, in this panel here, you're going to see uh, Files, Assets. You want to go Snippets. All right. Now, in Snippets, you basically have little snippets of HTML code ready to go for you to insert. So I'm going to go into Footer. I want to say I want a basic text footer. Now, you see a little preview right up here, right? This is another type of footer. So, you know, I'll go with this one. And I'm just going to drop it in right here, drag and drop. And lo and behold, our footer is all ready to go. We just have to change up the text and we're ready to go. So let's preview that, see how it looks in the web browser. Pretty good. So you see, with just a couple of clicks, Dreamweaver makes it really easy to start structuring your pages. No headaches. You just have to be a designer now. And, uh, you know, Dreamweaver can help with that, and Dreamweaver can speed up the whole web design process. But you still need basic design skills and and that's why, you know, we have courses on that as well. All right, I hope you found this useful. I'm Steph Mishuk with KillerSites.com, and I'll see you on the web.